hey my unicorn squad welcome back to my channel um i did change up the hay dolls to my unicorn squad um but i have a project share that i'd like to share with you guys this is for a swap i'm not gonna name who because i don't want them knowing <laughs> but they'll know once they see this so no peeking if you want to be surprised you already know what the book looks like but if you want to be surprised for the inside don't watch and there's a ton more goodies to follow that I'm not going to share but I just wanted to share this before I send it out so let me fix this butterfly um I did this let me see if I can show you this book is so chunky I did this super super cute tassel and I added this bee embellishment and this key and there's another key somewhere in this there's the other key. So there's the nice um, tassel. And then the front, I just added some chain, which was an idea by one of my subscribers. So thank you so much for that. I added some chain from the, um, the what do you call it? The lock mechanism. And I went all the way around with it through the clock, through the stopwatch. And then here, I did this paper myself. I distressed it all. Um, I stamped out the clock image and I put glossy accents. I don't know if you can tell. Oh, there, there you can. On the clock itself. And then I did distress on the inside, like uh, with, um, I forget the shade I used. I think it was mirror something. But yeah. So I did that and then I just used dimensional paint, black paint, to lift this a little bit. And then I put this clock embellishment that I had and I put a little black glitter butterfly on it. And in this plaque it says, hello my darling. And on the side I have some embossed clocks, again distressed. And along here I painted um, some yarn, black. It was tan. I painted it black. Oh, we got something stuck there. Okay, so then, and also I put these little corner pieces. Super, super cute. And then you open it. Okay, so this is just holding the, the tassel part connected. Okay, so um, here, let me just open this. Okay, so here I just put this happy birthday magnet because it was this person's birthday not too long ago and I missed it so I'm just going to add some of that stuff and then I put some wood chipboard pieces of unicorns, donuts, swans and shooting stars and clouds and then here's a nice unicorn magnet and then I these are wood um, letters I just put some glue on it and then some black glitter paint so we'll put that to the side. And I did make this tag. I also distressed it with the Tim Holtz inks. And I sprayed it with some water. I actually did that on a live video. So if you want to go back and watch it. Um, and this is a shaker, little shaker pocket. I did it with some tool and this unicorn sentiment. And um, I lined it with some pom-pom trim and then some sparkly eyelash trim. Okay, so we'll put this back in there, like so, okay, and then, sorry, you can hear my cat, <laughs> and then this I made, it's one of the shaker frames, all the shakers down there, but this is actually to hang on the wall. And then I put some little rhinestone embellishments in her hair. So here's the back of it. So, and it has unicorn. Um, well, I got glue everywhere. Good thing I'm doing this video so I can fix it all. Um, I have some unicorn ribbon so the person can hang it. And then this unicorn llama I thought was so stinking cute. I had to put it there. And then a hand laid, made with love. 
And then these um, dimensional stickers, they are really hard. They're like hard stickers, I guess. Um, so yeah, there's those. And then I made this rosette embellishment. And then I packaged it. It says be fierce. And then I love this red glitter paper. So yeah, there's that. So cute. Minnie Mouse. Love it. Then on the back, I have, whoa, this just, I'm going to have to put protectors on this so it doesn't come off. Okay, but I'll fix that after. Um, this, I made this plaque. And then this is also, I'll take it off since it came out, is a shaker dashboard that I distressed. And um, I put this vanity and on a music note paper. And on the bottom, it says gorgeous. So I will fix that with the, uh, the page protectors. And then on this side, I used, I made a little thing with an embellishment and it says stay magical. Then I put a little bit of, little bit of, can't talk, come on Danielle. A little unicorn embellishment here. And then on this page, we have those tickets that I made. I'll put a whole bunch in there. Okay, I'm going to have to take this one out and fix it. Then the next one, I made this embellishment here. Sorry if you can't see it too well. And then um, all I did was use a doily. Cut it out on a, a certain piece of cardstock, put a bow, and then just put some little sentiments in it with a little pocket. And then I put this little best friend ever, and then I made this um, envelope, and it has a whole bunch of goodies in it. It has this. It has this little shaker pocket, and then this mason jar glittery embellishment I made and then I'm sharing some rainbow trim eyelash trim on a little mannequin so there's that and I did use a um, one of those unicorn embellishments and then I just backed it with a doily and put some vine gold vine trim on the back of here I made this tag that says let's be unicorns and I colored that little girl, that little unicorn girl. And then on this page, we have my two, we have two little kitty cats because this person loves kitties. Um, and then my steampunk fairy that I made and colored with alcohol markers. Put a little pocket there. Let's fix these kitties back to how they were. Okay. And then these I made that I think are so stinking cute as well. They're little envelopes. And I made this little embellishment. It's a mason jar with a unicorn on it. You can see that okay. And I lined it with some. And it's just on pop dots, so you can pull it off. I have some goodies in here in each of them. And then I made this embellishment, rosette embellishment. Put a, um, a crown and ephemera piece, or not ephemera, cabochon. And then I included some little paper clips, a whole bunch of other little goodies. But yeah, and then the back goes like this. And I have a clock here with some Tim Holtz um, wings. And then again, I did make this paper as well. So that is my project share. I hope the recipient absolutely loves it. I enjoyed working on it. I was new to this shabby chic, vintage, not shabby chic, sorry, vintage grudge kind of look. And everyone says it reminds of Alice in Wonderland and I love Alice in Wonderland. So it's just fitting that it turned out that way. Push that back in there. So again, here is my mini binder that I made. It's not so many though. Um, if you guys enjoyed this, make sure to leave me a big thumbs up. And until my next upload, you all know what to do. Stay magical. Bye.